to slip into a conversation that we had earlier today with Scott Ibex and with Jennifer Charbonneau and visiting Irishman Bernie McInerney, talking all about a movable art project, the Alley Art Project that's happening tomorrow at the patio at the Eddie McStiff's Plaza. It's more than just that, from what I understand. They're taking all of the art uh, from local artists in various communities, and they're going to have an awesome showcase in, uh, in New York City at the end of the project. They're also going to be publishing a... Uh, is there a an, book? Yeah, yeah, they're going to be publishing okay. a book uh, featuring a lot of the art that is created around the country. And, um, Super cool. I think it's just uh, it's fantastic. I was telling them earlier as we were having lunch that I wrote a book called Low Budget Rockstar specifically to to help independent art projects get off the ground. Mm-hmm. And so it's kind of neat that we found each other here <laughs> in Moab and, uh, and we get to collaborate on, on what is definitely something that's fantastic. And so you've known uh, Jennifer and, and Bernie. has just met Bernie McInerney. Mm-hmm. You haven't known Bernie for that long, but you've known Jennifer since before. Uh, not you got really. Her. Not we, really? We got no. recently How connected through uh, Scotty Rogers, local photographer. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, part see, of okay. the Moab Monkeys. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. And so, um, so you know, a uh, small town that we have here, a lot of, uh, a lot of the artists are, are connected, and, and Scotty's a great guy, and... Uh, and he said, you know, we, we'd really like to get some of the local live musicians um, out to perform as people do live painting and, uh, and drawing and, and art of all mediums and, mm-hmm. and really make it a, a full-fledged art party. Okay, Not just well, visual. But. Perfect. Then I think that's good enough segue. You've done very well. All Thank right. you, Scott. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're going to be there yeah. uh, tomorrow to do uh, just that, to, uh, exactly. to show up with some um, musical context to be able to hold it in a, in a yummy audio yeah. space for people to play. Start me from scratch. Okay. So basically the idea started to come along um, – Myself as an artist, I travel a lot. I've been all over the world um, trying to get my art out, going from the bottom up, you know, busking on streets, going to markets and things like that. And I love getting involved with the different communities that I'm visiting. So this project kind of started building up where I'm getting inspired from the communities that I'm visiting, but I was trying to find a way to give inspiration to them to get them more involved in the creative process. So the Alley Art Project was kind of born from that, where we showcase local artists, local musicians, poets, like across the board of any medium, and we want to showcase what the locals are doing in Mm -hmm. the creative world. But also we want to leave room for the community members to get involved as opposed to just be observing the art going and looking at and seeing what's going on, they can be a part of the process. So we invite the community members to create collaborative paintings during our events. So we showcase the artists, and then we also have the community become artists themselves. Okay, so you have art that uh, is on hand already, and you have free art supplies, and you are inviting people to come and use the free art supplies to create works that are going going to... um, head out in the van with you to the next place for their ultimate show, which is where? It will be in Brooklyn, New York. We don't have the final space picked out. We're picking between a few different... It depends on how big the event can get. Um, We're talking with some friends in New York now about installations, a larger final collaborative piece, things like that. But yeah, everything will end up in New York. So every city that we visit... We're planning 14 major cities and then a few maybe smaller stop-offs along the way. But every city, the community creates two paintings together. So all the supplies that we bring and provide um, is available for the community to just come and paint for the day. It's free, open for kids, family, artists, anyone to come and paint. And if you sign your name off, you basically become part of that painting, a contributor or an artist in a sense. And so in the final installation in New York, everybody from every city that's helped create the painting will be listed as an artist. So, Well, you know, I think that collaborative, uh, it's an interesting idea because a lot of the artists that I know, while they are uh, very uh, ideologically connected to their communities, mm-hmm. you know, the 
it's also a very solitary pursuit. It's yeah. very solitary. And so to share a canvas, to share a creative vision, especially without some sort of guiding principle mm-hmm is curious. Sometimes it winds up looking like, oh, a hot mess. How are you going to keep it from that? Yeah. I mean, we haven't had any hot messes yet, but (laughs) (laughs) hopefully Um, not in Moab. uh, Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully not. Yeah. Moab, come out with your creativity, you know. Um, Basically what happens is the community will work together. I'm usually around the paintings as they're being created to kind of help guide and say, don't worry about going over like work together as opposed to just separate little pieces. Right, right, right. But at the end of the event, like a few days after, I usually go to the paintings and I do final touch-ups, final like um, little tweaks to make the paintings cohesive and mm, brighten little, colors. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, To do a little bit of synthesis to, to yeah. help bring it into something like a, a complete body yeah. of work. What is the scale? Uh, Are they canvases? Is it acrylic? Yep. So they're canvas. They're actually done the way that I do my artwork. um, I stretch my canvas on just raw wooden boards because when I'm done, I can take them off and roll them up and easy to travel with. So that's how we've been doing it. Um, They're 20 by 30 inches. So they're all going to be very consistent within the city. So they're all the same size. We usually switch it up landscape, portrait, um, depending on whoever starts the painting that day for the community members. Um, But yeah, it's definitely leaves room for people to get, you know, get full on into there, but it's not so massive that it's very intimidating for someone who may not be um, a painter or have never tried it before. So you're not necessarily looking, uh, calling for all of the professional artists to come on out. It's really a, just an expression of place of the people of the yeah. place to yeah. come on in and splash yeah. their little bit of personal color on the canvas and then kiss it goodbye, uh, to see yeah. what happens next. Yeah. It's definitely a community project and cool. it's, combining everyone creatives that are professional and creatives that just need that outlet that don't necessarily Mm -hmm. have it every day like an artist or musician would tomorrow at eddie mcstiff's plaza in fact at the patio of eddie mcstiff's from when to when from 3 p.m on until we have until close um we're going to be having some filming done by scotty rogers he's putting together a good um, adventure film reel. So when night falls, we're hoping to have a few more things going on. So it will be up until dark and we have some lights so you can paint by the stars or paint by the moonlight. (laughs) Wonderful. And it will be the longest day of the year. So there's plenty of time. Yeah. Yeah. You were unaware it was solstice. Yeah. It's the summer solstice. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Okay. And so tell me a little bit of a story about you two. Bernie and, well, and Jennifer. Well, Jen Hadley. is an artist um, mm-hmm. by trade. I, unfortunately, am not. But we're good friends. We met while teaching in Korea a couple of years ago. And I also love to travel like Jen does. So she asked me to come along with her on this tour. I'm Irish, by the way. I'm from Ireland. So I flew out here to help her with, you know, organizing the tour, documenting it and taking videos, photographs, helping assemble the book and assemble each event. So... I also have tried painting a little bit, so it's good to have that creative outlet because I'm not used to that. I'm not used to using a brush and paint, so it's been a great adventure so far. This is the so, sixth city. So uh, you say that you're not a painter, but clearly you're a creative. I guess I am creative in other yeah in other ways, but I've never really used sat down with a canvas open. That's very daunting for me. Mm-hmm. But working with people in each cities that we've been to, where people come up to us and I have to encourage them to grab a brush. It's make it. It's made me more, you know, comfortable with doing it myself. A little bit like, more. Oh, confident. I've never painted before. This is impossible. It'll, I'll I'll ruin it. So we try and encourage them to just let that go and just make make a color, add their add their own touch to it. So. And and so I'm curious about uh, if either of you have been in this kind of landscape before. In Moab. Correct. Ah uh, yes, yeah. that was. So a lot of our tour is actually headed to bigger cities, but Moab, I've been here last year when I was kind of 
working on the backbone of this tour uh, I was with another friend and we were touring out west towards California just busking in the streets selling our artwork and kind of scheming this alley art idea and we stopped through Moab a little later than this but about a year ago and I fell in love with it and mm -hmm. I just love the community and how creative people were and the landscape just leaves a lot of room I think for people to use their imagination yeah so it is a landscape of imagination mm -hmm. yeah. I'm so glad that that Moab is able to be this sweet little lure for you know it's a beautiful place it draws beautiful people and I'm glad that you're here to to sort of uh, contribute more of that to the area through this project you haven't though Bernie seen no. anything like this before no I have never been I've been to the west coast before but I've never been here middle America or uh, towards the Rockies so this is very, very different from what I've seen before. <laughs> but it's amazing. It's an amazing town. It's an amazing landscape. Isn't it just? Yeah, fantastic parks. Yeah. And and uh, so for people that have never been to Ireland, describe, uh, you know, sh it's green. We know that. Yeah. But c do you get to places where you can actually see high up and far? Or is it yeah, we so close and green that you just can't even see the horizon? No, we have lots of mountains. We have lots of mountain ranges and mountainous areas. Not as red and as brown as this. Uh, it's a lot of green, a lot of rain. Um, but, yeah, there are lots and lots of sweeping vistas, especially in the west of Ireland. It would mm. be very beautiful places. Yeah, but um, yeah, it's a great little country. <laughs> uh, but no, no, uh, deep red sandstone forever and ever. I no, no, no not at all. I, no. I imagine and no not. heat either. I think we're, we're having heat right now, but uh, it's oh, usually raining. What does raining. that mean to you? Heat. Well, in maybe twenty-five degrees Celsius. What's that? Like maybe eighty, ninety oh, Fahrenheit. Oh, yeah, that's some heat. That's yeah. that's a that's a miracle. Yeah, Ireland, so. a miracle heat. Yeah, yeah America. <laughs> Everyone runs outside. Usually, it's it's cold and, and yeah, uh, but it's still great people and great country. Well, thank you for being one of them and uh, wandering into the studios up here at KZMU today. Yeah, Again, the you. project is Alley Art, mm -hmm. Alley Art Project, and yeah. we don't know which alley it will be in <laughs> Brooklyn that uh, that it, it shows up on. Uh, but if people want more information about you, about the project, what's the online locale? Okay, well, we have a different, a few different options. Our main where you can find everything, streaming, constant picture updates and everything like that is on Facebook and it's Alley Art Project at Facebook. Um, but also for those of you who stay away from the Facebook world, um, you can find information connected through my personal website. So it's um, jcharbonneau.com and then it's Alley Art Project. And for people but, that don't uh, know about that sort of Francophile spelling, it's C H A R. <laughs> B O N N E A U X or just so no X? very close. Okay. You're doing the full on <laughs> French version. It's C H A R B O N E A U. Okay. Dot com. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you for having us. You yeah, are so welcome. Okay. Thanks, Bernie. And so, uh, one more time, Eddie McStiff's 3 p.m. tomorrow. You don't need to come up with anything except your curiosity and just an eensy bit of. Uh, creative enthusiasm. That's yes. all. You don't have to have any background. You can be that stick figure person. <laughs> Show up. Yes. It is cool. <laughs> at 3 p.m., Eddie McStiff's at the uh, patio, and there's going to be groovy music, right, Scott Ibex? Yeah, uh, Jenna Talbot will also be entertaining, and uh, Diane Green is going to be playing flute and accordion. I'll be doing some ambient piano, which I rarely have the chance to feature Ambient in live piano. shows and uh it's gonna be a really beautiful soundscape that uh that we're creating to inspire the visual art that will be happening so i'm excited about it mm -hmm. <clears throat> perfect well i uh i can't thank you guys enough for coming up today and i hope to see you tomorrow it's actually going to be uh you know you say uh where did i read it it was 3 p.m. until sunset is what I read mm -hmm. somewhere. Maybe it was on the Facebook thing, but it is till close, yeah. and that's further than that. Yeah. Uh, because it's the longest day of the year, sunset means like, I don't know what, <laughs> yeah. 10 o'clock or yeah. something like that. So all day long. As yeah. long as you're there creating, we'll be there to supply the paints and the music and the inspiration, I guess. Cool idea. Much luck to you with the whole thing then. Mm -hmm.
Thanks. Yeah, thank you.